We often hear of Apache Hadoop as the open source framework for big data management. Of course, there are also other solutions, but now let's see when Apache Hadoop is a recommended choice. First of all, Hadoop can be used as a data staging area, highly scalable and economical. It also supports effective data archiving. Data can be kept on Hadoop forever and accessed from several online tools. Somebody says that it's cheaper to store data than trying to get back what was lost. As for schema flexibility, Hadoop can handle data of any format, including evolving patterns and no patterns such as audio, video and images. Finally, Hadoop offers process flexibility, with the latest version of Hadoop 2 based on the evolution of rather the revolution of Yarn 2. Thanks to this, now many more kinds of applications can run on Hadoop. Until October 2013, only MapReduce jobs could, could natively run on Hadoop platform. Now several innovative and powerful applications integrate with it. Viewing Hadoop as a platform, think of the HDFS as the file system and Yarn as the operating system. One of the most famous and useful examples is Apache Spark on Yarn, which leverages in-memory computation capabilities on top of Hadoop. Moreover, Apache Storm is one of the previously existing products for stream processing that finally can run within the Hadoop cluster on top of Yarn. Of course, there are also many other tools as custom Yarn applications. Last month I was at the Hadoop Summit in San Jose, California, and I got back with many news. What excited me most is Apache Spark. Based on the concept of the resilient distributed dataset, is, uh, it allows speeding up Hadoop processes, since the process is spread over the memory of the entire cluster of nodes thanks to Yarn resource management component. Spark is yet an ecosystem composed of several projects belonging to the same technologies that can cooperate together within the same application. For example, Spark application can gather tweets from Twitter, collect them in an RDD object, which can be queried through the Spark SQL. The result can be used for data mining k-means algorithm through the mllib and then saved back on the HDFS as a file. Briefly, Spark is a unified system, instead of a collection of specialized technologies. And this is another of its successful features. The first is Apache Tets, another YARN-based application developed by OrphanWorks but used by various companies such as Yahoo. That lives on top of Yarn and it offers a solution for faster queries on a highway, competitive with both Cloudera Impala and Apache Shark. The increasing diffusion of advanced analysis tools was another key topic at the event. Now a lot of new products and libraries perform data mining, text mining and machine learning over big data, so that today advanced analytics are a real business opportunity. Finally, securing Hadoop infrastructure is another hot topic, which leads to different solutions, such as Apache Knox, to secure REST interactions with the Apache Hadoop cluster, and the newborn XA Secure, which will become part of the Hortonworks HDP very soon, supplying a comprehensive solution for Hadoop security. As a member of Spagobi Labs, I'm currently working on the evolution of Spagobi towards the Hadoop ecosystem. Spagobi already provides connectors to Hive, Impala and HBase. We have also developed a solution to gather data from some of the best known NoSQL databases such as Cassandra, MongoDB, OrenDB and Neo4j. I will be glad to talk about the new Spagobi features for Big Data in my next speech. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.